All right, we're back in Brussels, checking on progress on our Chateau remodeling project. Let's have a look. This used to be the grand ballroom and living space in the Chateau, and we're transforming this into an open kitchen and dining space instead. It's got a lot of these very heavy wooden wall panelings, ceiling mouldings. It's going to be all painted in a very bright uh, shade of, of a warm white, so it's going to be a, quite a different look than this, actually. It's going to be a large dining table here to see 10, 12, 14 people even, because clients really like to entertain friends and family here. That's why we're going to have this open kitchen island in, in the middle of the space. Very sculptural, with marble, with some dark bronze details. And then at the back, we're going to have this kitchen cabinets and open shelving in the middle. We're going to have the cooktop there, the sink. It's going to have some bronze elements as well. And there used to be an, an added fireplace, which is something which they added later in the um, in history of the building. So we had to take that out to create the kitchen cabinet there. But as you can see, we added some of those um, crown molding details there. So the white pieces are actually new, but they're based, they're cast from the original pieces in wood. So when it's all finished, it kind of like blends together, like the new and the existing pieces. And it's uh, very tricky to make those. So it's a lot of craftsmanship involved actually, but it makes it uh, very detailed. Here we actually added a new piece of the hardwood floors in oak, because we had to take out some existing elements. So we added a new piece in the same classical parquet pattern, and then it's all gonna be stained in a, in a very dark finish. So you have light walls and a very dark floor, as you can see. So these are the original floors, sanded down, and these are the new ones. So once it's all gonna be stained, it's gonna be a very uh, continuous surface. And then you have all these existing solid brass elements. As you can see, we have the radiator heaters with the rattan. So some of those parts were renewed as well, like restored new rattan, but it's all going to be painted, so it's going to blend in. And then here you can see the island. So it's actually a combination of some different volumes in, in stone. It's going to be in a Calacatta stone and sticking out here for the stools, cooked up behind, cabinetry and appliances also integrated have a look in the other room. So this is like a very, very bright open space, more like a day and, and evening like entertaining. And then we have the salon here, this very, very dark, moody, dark green salon, more an evening space. So in this space used to be a lot of different shades of, of green, we had the gold elements, but then there were also some other colors and some wallpaper, some coverings some paintings of flowers that they added later on in the history. So we're peeling back some of those layers and highlighting those beautiful ceiling moldings in, in wood. And we're keeping all those aged gold elements and the details, but painting everything else in a very dark, warm shade of green, creating a little bit more um, an updated or sophisticated version of this space. And then this is gonna be an evening salon we have this incredible fireplace here in a very special Quatre Saisons marble with some bronze details. And it's a very special one, which they used to make in France. And they have the same, from the same manufacturer, actually, there, there used to be the fireplaces in, in Chateau de Versailles, in the palaces from Napoleon. So this is a unique piece, really. And it works very well because you have the green shades there, you have the gray, you have the black details, and it all ties together with the interior elements that we are adding. And you have these vitrines here, these uh, display cabinets with bronze frames. And as you'll see, so inside there also used to be kind of wall fabric, and we had those reupholstered in a very dark uh, green velvet. New shelves in oak with integrated lighting. So this is gonna be beautiful for some souvenirs or books. So we kept those original bronze frames around the door with the edges here. It's all original from the building of the chateau. So everywhere we're trying to combine these old elements with new updated elements in a very elegant way and a very respectful way of uh, what's already there. And then here, underneath we have a portrait painting of the owner of the house, original owner. 
and then around the windows we're gonna have very dark dark green velvet curtains so it's all gonna be a, a cozy cozy atmosphere sofas here coffee table really an evening atmosphere here we are in the breakfast kitchen where we have gonna have a very nice round banquet seating in, in also in a green a green velvet breakfast table here more more countertop space more appliances all the fridges are there and in this space again we combine some of the existing moldings with new elements in a very classic language here we are installing the Carrara marble floor tiles so as you can see it's it's rectangular tiles with a very small um, kind of diamond detail in the middle. In the center of the staircase here, we're gonna have a large chandelier of all different kind of pieces coming from the ceiling. So it's gonna be a very sculptural chandelier made by René Zieber in Canada. They're shipping it next month and then gonna be installed here in different heights, really connecting the different levels of the, of the chateau. We have the staircase landing here, where we added these three curved doorways, one leading to the master suite, one leading to the guest rooms. It's gonna have the office there. Let's have a look in the master suite. This is the master suite. So we took out some walls to create a larger open space and make a space that really flows from the master bedroom part to the dressing room, to the bathroom behind. So there's gonna be another piece here. It's gonna be the bed. This is gonna be upholstered in a suede fabric, very much like a hotel bedroom. They're gonna come around. This is gonna be all cabinets upholstered in fabric with dark wood details. And they have a passageway leading into the bathroom. That's it for now. I'm really excited to see it all come together. It's been a complex process. There's a lot of craftsmanship involved, lots of details, but it's gonna be an extraordinary result.